Hello everyone, Charmette's in here. Um, it's been a while since uh, I've made my last YouTube video. I'm um, sorry about that. <clears throat> it's been, uh, I've been uh, busy with, uh, you know, just life and uh, work and stuff. So uh, I'm hoping to get back into the rhythm and uh, having uh, more releases of my videos. Um, I've had a, um, I had one of my users, or sorry, uh, uh, my YouTube subscribers ask me about uh, making a redundant Apache server. Um, so by redundant Apache server, uh, we mean something that if one of our servers goes down, if you notice most of our videos, we always assume that there's only one server and stuff like that. But in reality, um, an organization is going to have a website that's hosted on many, many different servers. Um, you know, it could be hundreds of uh, servers in, in the case of, let's say, someone like a Google will have hundreds and hundreds, of, sorry, uh, actually hundreds is uh, too little. It'd be in the thousands of servers and they do it for a lot of things. Load balancing is one and uh, high availability is the other. Um, so one way to do this is through something called a load balancer. Um, so one thing that we're that uh, is very popular is HA proxy okay uh, HA proxy uh, is a load balancer open source free runs on Linux <coughs> and um, what we can do is uh, set up load balancing um, we could set up you know high availability stuff like that um, the basic install is pretty simple, uh, it's just mod modifying a config file, um, but I will admit the, the tutorial I'm going to show you today is basically how to just get it working so that HTTP traffic will go on to, uh, will split between two servers on a static website. If you want to do this on WordPress or something a bit more dynamic, say that something with that has a login or something like that you will have to tweak it so i do encourage you to go to haproxy.org they have tons and tons of documentation on on this it can get really complex especially load balancing load balancing from a security perspective from a administrative perspective um, it can get really really complex so i'm just going to get uh, the basics for you today um, so our goal is we have three servers okay so I'll just come here so I have the balancer and two nodes so these two nodes all we're going to do is pull up a simple page that's um, located each on these two nodes okay in reality though your web server does most likely pull from a file server so um, you know these two nodes should have access to either the share drive or the SAN network or the storage network wherever you're storing your web files another thing in most tutorials that show you how to set up a web server um, they always have the web files located on that server now um, if you're running like a small blog or something uh, on the web that is fine um, but critical infrastructure you don't want you know the same server to host the same files and another thing too you don't if you have 20 servers you don't want to go to all 20 servers just to make code updates uh, for your website you want to do it in one central place and then the servers just grab that file from either the file share or wherever it is okay so all we need to do is log into the web sorry to what we call the load balancer okay these two nodes already have Apache installed so um, or whatever web server you want to use okay and this load balancer does not have Apache installed okay so just to get a bearing on what my IP address is this is 192.168.2.9. Okay. 
Okay, so if I go to 192.162.9, you'll see that there's nothing there. But if I go to 7 and 8, you'll see that um, this is node 1 and the other IP was node 2. So dot 9 will be our um, virtual IP, you can call it, or the load balancer IP. So on your, what your DNS would look like, uh, if you had this kind of deployed, you have the A record pointed to 192.168.2.9, and then 2.9 being your proxy, uh, sorry, or your load balancer will redirect the traffic to all the available servers. Another thing this is good for, if you have a bigger website, and what you want to do is run it on, let's say, cheap uh, VPSs. Um, or you just want a highly available website that, um, that you're using multiple VPS providers. Or even uh, a VPS provider that uh, has diverse uh, data centers. So one data center in, let's say, Chicago and one here in Canada. Um, you can have a... Uh, HA proxy somewhere out on the net that um, will point to these two um, web servers. Now, then you can really get into having multiple HA uh, or having multiple load balancers out on the net. So you can have two load balancers, one on, let's say, one, two in total, sorry, one on one provider and then the other on some other provider and then also having two web servers behind that or even four web servers um, you can really get complex okay so uh, digging a bit more into that actually the issue with this as you can see is that I have redundant servers but I have a single point of failure at the load balancer if this load balancer were to go kaput the DNS is pointing to this one load balancer that's not available. So even though I have redundant servers, my load balancer being offline can't route the traffic to the redundant servers, so I'm dead anyways. So that's where you have to have multiple load balancers and stuff like that. And that's for true high, high availability, true redundant um, servers. So first thing we'll need to do is just uh, install HA proxy. Okay, so now that HA proxy is installed, um, the configuration is in etc HA proxy, and there is a file uh, HA proxy dot CFG. So HA proxy, the default config comes with some uh, basic defaults, um, comes with some error files. So these are the error code, like the 400s and stuff. So you can make uh, different um, web pages in case of errors. So I already have a preset. Um, I already have a pre-compiled uh, configuration file here. So let's explain this. So this is the web farm. Now this here is just a name, so you can change it to what you want. Um, the mode is HTTP. There is additional, uh, there is some additional uh, configurations that you'll need, you know, if you're doing something more complex like HTTPS. So this, this is in this example is HTTP. We have two web servers which we declare. So server, we have web server 01, which you can name whatever you want. Um, 192.168.2.8, as well as 2.7. Okay. And we've declared that it's on port 80. So control O to write this file and exit. We'll restart the HA proxy service. Okay. 
And now, to be sure HA proxy is there, you can always do HA proxy dash V. And this will tell you the version and everything like that. So now we'll go to HA proxy. Uh, sorry, uh, to the IP that is HA proxy. And okay, so now you'll see that I'm now being directed to a web page. So I put this little host name thing here um, on the um, on the page to show that this is node one. And if I refresh again, it's node two. Node one. Okay, and it and it's not um, like it needs it like out of the box it needs to be tweaked because if this was actual round robin every time I refreshed it would I mean it's not going to change automatically right away because you know maybe uh, web server one has room for more requests right if we go back to our configuration file here we'll see that um, we'll see that the it's set up for round robin okay there are other options and again you'll want to go to ha proxy because if i went through all these if i went through all of the options we'd be here for quite a while um there are many different configurations and stuff like that it all depends on what you want uh and how you want to um how you want to load balance your network okay so now if you just do this uh, test where uh, you just keep on refreshing like this pop up eventually okay so node 2 comes up okay. another thing you can do I think I have the script here You can use a test evasive. Um, let's see if I can find it. Uh, in one of my uh, in one of my videos for um, mod evasive, there's a script that you can use to um, to use mod evasive uh, to test it out. Okay, so I can't seem to find that uh, script, but um, what you can do is uh, to, to further test is you can always get the test evasive script to um, to test out uh, sending multiple HTTP requests to the server and see how the ba the load balancing goes. Okay, so essentially, because you notice that most of the traffic goes to the first server in line. You'd probably want to put your um, highest uh, highest spec and lowest latency server first, and then start scrolling down. Um, you know, from from server to server. Now, what happens when one of these guys goes down? So that that's the goal, right? So if node one were to go down, I don't want anyone to see that. Right? I want them to automatically be forced to node two. Well, you'll see that the um, you'll see that no two eventually uh, comes up only. So let's give it some time. Okay. 
So no two. Um, there was an error, so again, uh, it needs to be tweaked for timing. But you'll notice that all traffic ends up at node two. Okay. And node one no longer is there. Oops. Okay. Now, similarly, if you if you take out node two. We go back to our server. We're back right away to node one. So again, this this tutorial is not a hundred percent perfect because the, we're not going through all of the uh, settings and we're not while while tweaking it. But there is a lot of options for things like how long it takes for the server to kick in and uh, how long it takes for HA proxy to realize that a server has gone down. Um, but even with these default options, this is a very useful tool because um, you know just modifying a couple of the a couple of the lines of code, we already have a, uh, a pretty redundant server. Um, again, I just want to stress that it takes uh, it's going to take a lot of tweaking to get this you know as perfect as something like running some uh, something high traffic like a Google or something like that so if you have any questions or comments about this video or any one of my videos you can uh, leave a comment or email me at Sean at SeanMancini.com you can also visit my website uh, www.SeanMancini.com and if uh, you're looking for documentation for this product, uh, visit haproxy.org. Have a good day, everyone.